another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add and edit a PDF directly in OneNote. So let's say that you've got a PDF survey, maybe for employees or you're a teacher and you've got worksheet for students that you'd like them to complete. You don't want to have to attach the document to OneNote, have them download it, complete it, save it, re-upload it. But similarly, you don't want to have to spend the time to recreate the whole document that you already have in OneNote itself. This then is going to be the solution for you and it's going to allow you to use all the resources you've already created and have anybody edit or complete at the document that you have. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm here in OneNote and firstly, how do you add a PDF document? Well, there's actually a couple of different ways that we can do this. So first and foremost, we're gonna to go to insert and there's actually two different options here. If we choose file, it will just attach the document to the OneNote. So you won't be able to see what's inside until you click and open it. What we're gonna do with a PDF is we're actually gonna select printout. I'm gonna select my PDF and then I'm gonna to go to insert. So what that does is, so if we just selected file, we would just see this um, file icon here. But because we've done printout, we've got the file icon, but we've also uh, can see the document itself straight away. So you can kind of tell, as opposed to just having a file icon, it looks better just to have the document on the page. Another way to attach our documents would just be to simply take our PDF document, drag, drop, and then we're going to go insert as printout. So either way ends up with the same result. So now that we've added our PDF, you'll see that I can't actually edit anything. So I, I can't write my name on, I couldn't write any answers to questions. It's just essentially one big image. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click or control click on Mac and we're going to go set picture as background. So what that essentially does is what it says, it puts the picture into the background, but that now means that we can actually click over the top. So I can go to um, insert here and I could add anything on top. I can click and I can start typing my name and I can then move that text box around. And so you can start to see how I can just directly complete this PDF document in the OneNote. I can even go up to draw, I can get the pen tool uh, and I can start to write okay, using that pen tool. I'm actually using my trackpad here so I'm not the best. Um, but essentially there you have it. So that saves, if you've got loads of PDF resources and you want to still be able to use them um, and you haven't got the time to sit there and recreate them all in OneNote, this is a great solution to be able to put your worksheet, your survey, whatever it may be, straight into OneNote and have people just write their answers on the top or type their answers on the top. So I hope it's been useful and I'll see you in the next video.